Dr. Frome, line one. Hey, Mr. Cornishon Penis. Hello. It's Dr. Frome. Get your ass down in R&D right now. How to survive a day at Amotech. One, always have a clipboard in hand. The busier you look, the more invisible hey, you become. Des, uh... Step two, if you get cornered, know the lingo. Desmond! We got a problem with our purchase orders over in R&D. I can totally get you those CPCs. Just draft an RFP and we can reconvene AEOD for some THC. Cool? Sure. THC? All right, let's start pissing brain juice. Slogan ball time, Maxwell. Damn 26 mega taser. 50,000 volts of stopping power. Nice yeah. slogan. Sloganize me, Bertrand. Sweet. Uh, M26, it will zap until you crap. Oh. Yes. Three, when others try to pull you in, do not give them anything useful or they'll expect it every time. <laughs> There's man! Sloganize me. Uh, sure. <sighs> the M26 mega taser, a lot more gentle than a Glock. Yeah, it's mm. kind of mean. Not no, not the best idea I've ever heard, but okay. Go back to the mail room, you loser. Oh. It's a bad idea. Unless you want me to hire this moron, start coming up with real ideas. Four. Remember, the higher the office, the bigger the douchebag. Take the sales dudes, for example. The B-22 will turn that target into toothpaste. Very good choice, sit on my friend. See you soon. Boom, I just fucked that clown in the ass. What's up, Hoffnagel? Let me show you how I just did that. USA, USA, America, woo! Now, this is what winning feels like. Fine, when processing orders, remember, you are the one in power. Does it really take this long to get an order processed by you, Desmond. It's been over a month, and I still don't have that boron silicate hydroxide I want. When do we uh, get the robot? Robots don't have people in them. This is an XL9 patrol suit, one of six fully operational models, first ever green tech. Runs solely on organic material. So when people think ammo tech, they'll think friend to the environment. Oh, I don't care about the environment. What I do care about is that if we're up in the Afghan hills and this thing runs out of gas, I can just grab an armadillo, throw it in the back, and continue to rain hell down on the Hajis. Actually, armadillos are only found in Central and North America. I did a paper on them in high school. And did you know they can hold their breath for up to six minutes? I give zero fucks about what you're saying right now. I want those purchase orders double-timed. Do you understand me? They are vital to a product that we're working on. Got it? Great, thanks, bud. Oh, um, I wouldn't stand there if I were you. Why? I didn't have an official number for this, but I just thought of it, and it's pretty important, so let's call it 5B. If someone's a dick, you have the option of making their life hell with your hidden accounting superpower, losing the paperwork. I said it's not ready. Look, you're not in charge, and it's not your job. Do you understand? Freya Lorelei, please report to the Sonic weapon. What are you looking at, fuck nuts? Get that order in. Sure thing, Doc. Six. To minimize job stress, practice your breathing techniques. <laughs> anyway, I shot a pig with the mixer, and now I'm like, they're wearing some of it. <laughs> I thought that was a design on your shirt. <coughs> I'm okay. <coughs> I'm okay. <clears throat> to be newly <laughs> unemployed. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck this place, man. God.
This brings us to our final entry, number seven. Work on your own shit at work. Every one of us could get shit canned tomorrow, so spend a little time working on your fallback plan. William Faulkner wrote one of his books using a wheelbarrow as a desk while working on some graveyard shift. Me? I've been designing a video game app. Basically a continuous runner where a guy who is stoned and remains stoned is looking for munchies, and if he reaches the end, him and his girlfriend... But you know what? I shouldn't be pitching it right now. It's still in the design stage. <laughs>